weather report. All right, storms uh, continuing to develop just west of Oklahoma City. Not really called storms yet, but uh, they're just uh, parts of Canadian County out to the west near Hinton. And let's take a look at some uh, shots from our storm tracker. First, we'll go to Val Castor. And Val, storm action. Val, storm action one. Val, what do you have? Yeah, Gary, we are a couple miles north of I-40 out here just east of El Reno, and we've been watching two areas of towers that have been trying to go up. The first area is up to our north, up near Piedmont. That has went up several times and then what we call turkeyed out, basically, which means it fell apart. Uh, it looks like it's starting to go up a little bit better now again. Uh, but to me, the best area looks to be straight west of us, right over I-40, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or so miles west of here, Gary. All righty, Val, appreciate that. And they, we keep getting some light returns out that way. What's that? Go ahead, David. Okay, Gary, again, uh, we're on the west side of uh, El Rito here, and, you know, like Val was saying, Val did a really good job at describing all this, and, you know, we have these pockets of, uh, of areas that just keep bubbling into these towers that are going out. This is, uh, this is typical. This is normal. The atmosphere is uh, heating up. And uh, we're getting these towers as they go up. They get stronger each time they go up. They'll, they'll weaken and they'll move off. And you'll get another tower go up in the same area. Each time that tower comes back, uh, it's a little bit stronger. So uh, the situation is now, you're looking at our stream there. Those are two towers going up. By the way, that one tower on the left of our stream, if you look at it here, that whole thing is actually spinning. Uh, it's got a, the, the base at the middle levels. You can watch it looks like a screw just turning in the atmosphere there and it's turning from left to right so there is a lot of spin in the atmosphere today that's why we're going to have super cells and the threat obviously for tornadoes but uh, that storm there again going up uh it's, it's not going up like a house on fire but it is going up and gary i look back to the west same area another area that's beginning to bubble up again so again this whole area is just uh it's just, I don't know, I always use the word like percolating. It's, it's, it's just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over, and then eventually these things will turn into uh, probably some really, really big storms. But so right now, we have towers going up. Uh, they're firm. They're crisp. Look like big blobs of cauliflower out here, very crisp. But, uh, again, right now, it's just a wait, just a watch game. And when it happens, uh, we'll be all over it. Gary, back to you. All right, thanks. Let's do a quick check on Pathfinder. And this is just a rough projection on Pathfinder based on where they form, where they are right now, where the towers are going up and moving on off the east-northeast. It's not exact, but it'll give you some idea. This is all west of Oklahoma City, and uh, southwest of El Reno, west of El Reno. There's other uh, towers like this all through a good part of Oklahoma. So just keep that in mind. These things are growing, gradually what we call percolating just a little bit, gradually intensifying. Tornado Watch continues in effect for a large part of Oklahoma, and we'll get to that if I can find it here on my weather graphics. Right there. Why don't you find it for me? We only got about 700 graphics in there. There's the watch, PDS watch. That means a dangerous, particularly dangerous situation, tornado watch, in effect until midnight. And the eastern edge of it, the western edge of it, runs from uh, close to Blackwell, back out to Enid, uh, to Watonga, uh, south to Hinton, south to Anadarko, south to Lawton. East of that line, including the metro, South Central, Northeastern Oklahoma, Eastern Oklahoma, that's the risk area uh, for tornadoes. One thing I do want to mention as the afternoon and night rolls along, that is the flood area, possible flood area. Once again, Central, Northern, Northeastern Oklahoma, but the main thing we're watching, developing severe thunderstorms. We see a storm going up in Kansas. We see the towers going up in Western Oklahoma. And we just do west of Oklahoma City, west central Oklahoma. They're increasing out there, too. They're increasing uh, to the northwest of Oklahoma City, increasing in southwest Oklahoma. So, it, as we say, it's just a matter of time. And we'll get Michael out here on the green board. Greenfield, that is not severe, but these are the developing storms. Initially, they'll move to the northeast toward Greenfield and, and uh, Greenfield again, then Geary area, then uh, that one near Weatherford will be very close to Weatherford, probably just east of Weatherford, moving toward Hydro. They'll eventually move up, move up into Kingfisher County, and they'll move into Canadian County, and later there'll be more storms to the south that'll move into Oklahoma County. But these are the first ones that appear to me to be significant that are going to last. They're not showing up too much. There it is, yeah. You can take, do a quick check on Excel, you guys. It's a little higher there. scan, so that's up, why a little higher. Yeah. And so we can see a storm north of Stillwater, and we also see the one at Okarchi, and those ones right out to the west, west of Geary. Let's go ahead and loop so we can look at that direction again, Mike. Okay. 
think it's northeast based on what I just saw, or east northeast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's northeast. It's I don't think it's really fast so. at the moment. Let's call it 25 mile an hour right now. But as we scan around on Moar, quick check there. See how that storm is doing? Yeah, the intensities are going up. You see the one near Greenfield? It has gone up. Uh, looks like in our measurement, it looked like we're running at 45 dBZ, and it was about 20 just a few minutes ago. So right now, those are the main storms intensifying rapidly. The one in between may not make it, but the one southeast of Weatherford and the one south of Greenfield, you need to exercise some caution. Now, these storms will be moving generally like that. And that one on that north storm there, that'll be moving toward Kingfisher. And this one initially will be moving toward northwestern and western Canadian County. But before long, what they'll do, if they get a, once they get a little bit taller, they'll probably do something like this. They'll turn more to an easterly direction at about 25 miles an hour. But, but right now, they're moving northeast. That's the three major ones we have showing up in it, Mike. I also see an echo uh, developing actually all the way back into southwestern Oklahoma, uh, down northeast of Frederick, southwest of Lawton. So yeah. it's, it's going to probably you be You got boring. the rain, the hail on the right. On the left, you have the rain free base. Very organized, very smooth. And now, Gary, we're starting to get some tags or some clouds that are just kind of hanging down like fingers under the updraft, okay? And the updraft is actually beginning, beginning to kind of kind of drop down a little bit, if you will, towards the ground a little bit. It's beginning to lower itself as pressure is lower in that storm, and it develops that mesocyclone. It's now beginning to lower itself. So that's beginning to happen right now. That's the beginning stages of what we think is going to happen, obviously. And, again, uh, the, the tags are beginning to form, the hail around on the right. And uh, this, this storm is going up, Gary. You can take our stream there, and you can see the anvils. I want to point one thing out here, Gary. You don't see this very often. Look at our stream. Those anvils are razor sharp razor sharp animals and on days that i see stuff like that are days that we used to have bad things happening simply put a lot of instability in the atmosphere a lot of cold air aloft and a lot of jet stream winds you get animals that look like that but anyway gary we're headed towards this northern storm we're going to track all these storms back to you Okay, and Mike Armstrong is going to put a projection on this north storm. It is rotating. It is developing a mesocyclone. Uh, so it's a severe right now, gust 60 plus, and uh, probably some um, quarter side. Alrighty, uh, Bob Mills, Sky News 9 is up, and uh, we're checking with uh, Jim Gardner. Jim, go ahead. Jim's out. It looks like he's probably moving toward that. I'm looking at him here. He's Ellie he could be looking at the. Gary, are north... you there? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, Jim. Okay. Yeah, you're looking at the Greenfield storm. That's where we're flying into right now. You can see that heavy rain shaft. Just like he said, there's a, uh, Al said, there's a really uh, clean rain-free base. Nothing yet as far as uh, of, uh, any loarings or wall clouds, but you can kind of see it kind of want to develop right there. Now, as we go to the left, at DJ pans to the left here, you're going to see this other storm that's out by Weatherford. That's the other one that's developing right there over at Weatherford. You can see the rain starting to get pretty heavy in that one. You can see the rain-free base in that one. So again, these are just lining out, Gary, these two right here, and they're turning into very big supercell storms right now as we come back to the right and get back on this Greenfield storm as we come up on it here. Uh, but right now, nothing uh, significant right now. It's in those development stages. It continues to rise, but the rain has gotten a lot heavier out in front of it. We have picked up too much cloud to ground lightning, but I think I agree with Val. It's just a matter of time here before this one really starts taking off. Gary, Jim got reported live from Bob Mills, Sky News 9, back to you. You're exactly right, Jim, and that, that is, uh, has Greenfield become a supercell. Moving up uh, toward Kingfisher, going to come very close to Kingfisher and Dover. Right now, all of these are northeast, but uh, yeah, go ahead. Gary, again, uh, hey, this is, uh, this is David here, and we are uh, one, two, three, four miles north of Calumet and uh, four miles north and three miles west. And uh, we might have a tornado on the ground. Okay? okay. I'm either looking at blowing it fast, but to me, it's not blowing, accelerating east. It's I lifting. See it. It's lifting in our stream. And, and, and if it is, it's going to be a weak tornado at this point, but it looks like it might be uh, a tornado. You can see our stream. Is our stream good? Do you have our stream? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. There it is. And uh, again, I, 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 I stopped, but I can't tell if it's moving at me as far as if it's, if it's being a little bit of outflow. But right now, uh, that spot just continues to lift uh, right underneath that base. I don't see a, I don't see a, a funnel above it, but you don't have to have a funnel above it to have a tornado on the ground right now. But uh, that spot there to me looks like it almost looks like it's a tornado area. It's real close. It, it's hard to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit further west by about a mile and turn north here. We'll get right up to it and see what it is here in about, about two minutes. But uh, that might be. You know what? Here, hang on. I can almost see. Hang on. Yeah, 
Oh, boy. Hang on here. Here we go. That might be a tornado. It's close. It's 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 close. It's 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 dust for sure. Now, if it's if is it is it by the storm or uh, is it the tornado? It's it's where the tornado should be. Okay, it's where the tornado should be right there, the the left spot there. Hang on, I'm gonna take a hard turn here and get up next to it here. Pixelating pretty badly, so we it's hard for us to see what you're seeing right there. Okay, All right. are you guys on? Uh, yes. Well, I don't know what system you're on right now. Okay, that we are what? We're on the chair deck. Okay, hang on, I'm making the turn here. Okay, what, still there, still dust. Still dust, if it's going to be just wind from the storm or if it's actually going to be a be a tornado. Here, I want to turn north here and get up close to it here and see we can find, Gary. Okay, keep an eye on it. Yeah. These storms continue to intensify. And the one near Hennessy is developing in circulation, so south central Garfield County, the one southwest of Kingfisher needs to be watched. All these are cyclonic. And there's another one just due south of Greenfield, moving northeast. And there's the one west of Hinton and looks like hyd uh, east of Hydro, and it's going to be moving into Canadian County. Other storms west of Lukiba, and these all will start turning a little bit. They'll continue to intensify, and we'll have tornado warnings uh, before too much longer the way it looks. So let's go back uh, to quick check on Pathfinder. You can see the various storms, the one at Hennessy. It'll be at Douglas at 535, Fairmont 537, Covington 530, in the Hinton area, which is due west of Oklahoma City. And uh, Jim Gardner, what do you have? Uh, man, this, this storm is really cranking now. I don't know if you can see it on your monitor, but uh, as we zoom back here or, or go pan left, you're going to see the dirt being drawn off the fields way behind this storm, and it is being lifted. It is drawn right off the fields and being lifted in the back of this storm. Pretty incredible sight from Bob Mill, Sky News 9 here as we come up on it, but it is drawing in some air and dirt. You see it right there starting to rise just like a like a set of stairs going right up into the back of this storm, Gary. Ah. It's trying to form a wall cloud. It's got a tremendous amount of rain in front of it. Right now I'm sitting on the south edge of town of the town of Hinton right now, shooting back to the northwest as uh, DJ pans to the right a little bit here, and you're going to see that big, huge rain shaft. Keep going to the right, DJ. As you see the big, huge rain shaft right there, that is just northwest of town, probably about one or two miles. And then as we come back to the left, you're going to see all that dirt being lifted and drawn into the back of that storm. There, so there's a lot of action going on here. I'm looking up into the upper levels. You can start seeing just kind of a swirl, just kind of a spare tire look as it turns and getting tight in here, Gary. So this is quite a storm here. Like I said, we'll stay on it. Like I said, we're just on the south edge of town of Hinton, shooting back to the northwest. and it all, it, uh, Approximate it's only maybe one or two miles to the northwest of Hinton. Jim Gunner reporting live for Bob Mills. Scott, he's nine. Back to you, Gary. Jim, appreciate that report. And let's check in with Hank Brown just to the west, uh, not too far from the Hinton area. So, Hank, go ahead. Hey, Gary. I'm just Thanks, to the Jim. northeast of Jim and looking back in there, and I've got a zoomed-in shot. Um, there's a little bit of a lowering that is formed with this storm. We can see the dirt that Jim was talking about. It almost looks like a grass fire just where the dirt's been pulled into this storm, and then immediately south of the rain pour right here as we zoom in. Well, it, it is. There's even Marty moving just uh, very close to Hennessy. We'll come back down to the south. Dover area, Kingfisher, all through here, you know, very large, up to two-inch size hail with these storms. And this particular storm, the tail end of this thing, looks like it's beginning to rotate even more and more. So anywhere with these storms, there could be a tornado produced. We got Hal, uh, Hal, Val, and Hank, and David on that area. Sky News 9 is on the back edge of his. Oh, my goodness. Uh, go ahead, uh, Sky News 9. Bob, Bob Mills, Sky News 9. Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, Gary, you're looking at that, uh, man. It, look at, I mean, that just formed in the last 30 seconds. Now, right now, I'm sitting uh, approximately seven, about eight miles to the southeast of Hinton, southeast of Hinton, shooting back directly to the north. You can see that huge wall cloud that has just dropped out of that rain that rain shaft as we come around more around the back side here. I mean, it's just massive, and this thing is really turning, Gary. And so, again, like I said, I'm coming up uh, eight miles southeast of Hinton, the town of Hinton, shooting directly back north. And so you're looking at that storm as it's tracking more eastbound now, Gary, but just a massive wall cloud has just fallen out of the back side of this, which could produce a tornado at any time. Jim Goddard reporting live from Bob Mills. Scott, his nine. Back to you. Okay, Jim, I see you two miles, basically two miles south of Cedar Lake. What direction is the camera pointing? Hello, Jim. Yeah, Gary, go ahead. Yes, Jim. 
I see you're about two miles south of Cedar Lake. Uh, what direction is the camera pointed? Uh, right now we're pointing directly to the north. I'm flying down a westbound, a western leader direct direction pointed right back north, Gary. That's an ugly wall cloud. Wall from wall clouds come back. Sky, Sky, Sky News 9 has a chaotic sky, chaotic uh, rotation in there, wall cloud developing lower to the ground. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Sky News 9. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. This there, is embedded there, in the rain. I got gotcha. you. to the ground, low to the ground. Okay. The, the biggest thing, the biggest problem with this is it's starting to get rain wrapped. Yeah, yeah, we can see that. A lot of rain wrapping around it, Jerry. Okay, Val, for the people really just tune, for the people just, Val, Val, yeah. give, yeah. me, give me a good projection on this tornado warning, yes. will you? Yeah. Okay, Val, you're right there, Val, for, I know I can see you right along Interstate 40. What direction are you looking toward that wall cloud? Okay, Jerry, we're looking right west and west-southwest. So this wall cloud is going to be the north edge of it, right over I-40. The south edge of it is going to be about a mile or probably a mile and a half south of I-40. Okay. It is really, really getting wrapped up in rain. It's, it's getting harder all the time to see what's inside of it. Uh, but it, it, it is rotating. Take Allen's shot. Take some action, too. Uh, near the uh, east exit of Highway 281. Needs to watch out with this thing, Gary. Go ahead, Allen. Allen, jump Turn in there. Turn it on the ground. Turn it on the ground where, Allen? I'm about uh, 12 miles west of Kingfisher. Be looking right there. Is, uh, on the ground, it's been up and down a couple of times now. Uh, yeah. Multiple vortices now. Multiple vortices on this. Okay. Right now. Alan, tell me where you are, what direction you're looking. Okay, I'm looking west. I'm about 12 miles to the west of Kingfisher. Looking west. Uh, tornado's about three, so three miles to that. my west right now. Very strong tornado forming. Got multiple vortices in it. It is definitely on the ground doing damage at this time, Gary. I'm looking west. Okay. It'll probably be moving east also. Okay. So you folks in around the Kingfisher area, continue tornado precautions, and that's all along State Highway 33. So please take your tornado precautions. Alan, Alan Brosey watching that storm out to the west of him, and uh, he has a wall cloud, funnel cloud on the ground. Alan is still on the ground. Okay, Gary, it's reorganizing now. It's still on the ground. Chris was fine. It will be back on the ground. It's wrapping up, it's wrapping up real tight. Okay. Then, Alan, I'm going to have uh, Val jump back in your Val. What do you have? Okay, Gary, uh, we might have just had a possible tornado touchdown uh, with this wall cloud. It was so in the rain, it's hard to see. Uh, there's a lot of rain wrapped around it, but we saw a couple of times it looked like the, the funnel extended all the way to the ground. But there is definite strong rotation right in the middle of that rain, and that's going to be near I-40, just south of I-40, uh, near and just east, I would say, of the first Gary exit, the first, uh, uh, that would be Highway 281 exit, Hinton Gary exit, Gary. All righty, we're you. watching uh, the storm west of, uh, on Highway 33, west of Kingfisher, tornado uh, in that particular area. Then we're watching this thing around Bridgeport and uh, to the south of, and west, southwest of Val Val's Interstate 40. Hey, Gary. Go ahead. Okay, hey, Gary, this is Payne, and uh, again, I just left 281, had the wall cloud about 10 minutes ago go right over our heads, south of 281, the wall cloud, like Mel said, is wrapped in rain, it's becoming wrapped in rain, the wall cloud was about halfway to the ground, the rain is wrapping it around it, and the, the wall cloud now is going to be about a half mile south of I-40, a half mile south of I-40, and one, two, three, four miles east of the 281 I-40 connect point, okay? Where 281 and I-40 come together, go half mile south and three miles east. That's where the wall cloud is. It is turning, but there's rain wrapping around it, which is even worse. A dangerous tornado could be obviously wrapped in rain. That's our big concern now. I don't see the tornado on the ground. If it is, we're going to get up here and take a closer look. Again, it's still south of I-40. I'm on I-40 moving east. Circulation right behind me. Monitoring the all the emergency managers. We're listening to the emergency manager tornado. channels on this scanners. This tornado is indicated on the ground very close to Interstate 40. We have a TVS. That's a tornado vortex signature. So you guys all along Interstate 40 from west of El Reno to El Reno to Yukon and even up to Concho, then down south, Cedar Lake, Union City area, as it moves into the Oklahoma City area. And there's a tornado warning on it. That tornado warning really is fairly small at this time. Wouldn't you say it looks like they only ran that out to just past El Reno? But I can tell yeah. you folks that live east of El Reno, if you live in Yukon, Bethany, the village, uh, Oklahoma City, western, southwest Oklahoma City, west Oklahoma City, uh, you know, I would go ahead and take my tornado precautions. You know, I would, it's better to be safe than sorry. This thing looks like it's going to turn into one humongous uh, cyclonic uh, uh, supercell, which is already doing right now. You see the big circulation right there along Interstate 40. Uh, the winds are, they're high-speed winds. 
and all those storms we had out there, it looks like two or three of them are just congealing into, congealing into one big storm. And let's, uh, as you look at all this, look at that, look at that. That's a signature of a, a very strong circulation. We've had, at times, a tornado vortex signature indicated in there. This is two miles east of the 281 Spur and I-40 intersection. That's this area right here. On there? Uh, yeah, you know, it's El Reno's going to be the next in line. There's, okay, but I mean yeah. the town, but the uh, streets. Oh, yeah. If you can, yeah, get, we can do that. streets on there. Yep. And as Mike, uh, go ahead, who we have there? David, hey, listen, uh, you can take our screen here. You can see the right side of what's going to be the tornado, or at least the right side of the wall cloud here on our stream. And looking back to the west here, that circulation is about three miles to my west. And you've got to get away from it. It's actually, it, 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 it's completely wrapped in rain, but you can see the right side of what it's going to be because of the tornado or the wall cloud that's going to be on I-40 right there. You can just barely see it on the right there as I'm looking off due west. And again, circulation's right to my west, three miles coming right at us right now. And again, I don't see any power flashes, but we're going to get closer here and see what we come up with. Carry back to you. All right, appreciate that. Uh, Val Castro, you out there, what do you have? That over there. Val, go ahead. Gary, yes, I uh, just want to report a funnel. We just had a funnel uh, almost right over us. This is going to be about six miles east of Methodist Road, right over I-40. Oh and this was a small funnel. I don't think this was right in the middle of the main circulation. This was a little bit ahead of it, but it was a well-formed funnel, a very thin funnel that formed and went about halfway to the ground. Did not see any debris or anything like that. Um, but it was six miles east of Methodist Road, right on I-40, Gary. Okay, great information from you guys. I know Hank's out there with you. And we're watching Sky News 9, Bob Mill Sky News 9, on the bottom side of this, and we can see nothing but rain. But let's check in with Jim Gardner. Jim, go ahead. Back to your other, come back to your other way. Jim, yeah, we, Gary. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Gary, we're, we're right over here on the, uh, let me find out what road I'm on here. Okay, this is going to be South Ranch Road. We're going to be just uh, south of I-40. We're about two to three miles east of the 281. Uh, spur there, and I believe whatever's on the ground is kind of like right in here. It's going to be rain wrapped, Gary. That's the biggest problem with these things. But there's a lot of dirt. Now there's a lot of uh, uh, dirt being drawn in from the south here. I don't want to take the picture off the storm here, but I'm looking south of me, and all the fields have got dirt blowing into me and past me and right into this storm. So it is pulling in huge volumes of air here. But anyway, you can see right uh, as DJ, let's see, go back to your left a little bit, Jay. Go back to your left. There you go. Right in there. Right in there is where David Payne and all of them has been reporting. You can kind of see the dirt and everything off uh, kind of going up in there. So if anything's on the ground, Gary, I believe it's right in there, but it's going to be rain wrapped. This is the most dangerous tornado you can have because you can't see it coming at all. So we'll just keep tracking it. If we ever get an eye on it, I'll let you know, Gary. Jim Gardner, for live from Bob Mills. Scott, who's nine? Back to you. Let me go to base. Okay. It's uh, the, the winds, this thing is continuing to organize. There's extremely strong winds well away from the circulation, uh, right above the ground level, uh, 70, 75 miles an hour flowing into this. And as you look at that on, your, on, the, on the storm shield, you can see it's nine miles, at least the center of it, uh, it's big though, it's big. The center, center of it is 9.1 miles west-southwest of the spur. Go ahead. Hey, Gary, I am at I-40 and 270. I'm just on the east side of the circulation. I'm actually in the rain and hail core looking back to the southwest. I don't know if you can make it out in my shot, but we're, uh, the wall cloud is about a mile to my southwest. I don't see a tornado on the ground right now, but I do see a low-hanging wall cloud that's about halfway to the ground. And the hail and rain is getting stuck past me up into this storm. That's so a new this one. thing is right really, really, really it's going to be just south of I-40. I'm at the 270 I-40 exit, and it's moving just to my southwest right now. Um, hey, yeah. I don't know if you can see my screen yet or not. Uh, it's pretty murky. It's that big purple blob that's kind of lit uh, a little bit back east, southeast, perhaps. Um, I thought it was going to come north of I-40 and come over me, but that doesn't look like that's the case. It's, it's really, are you recording it? Hey, it is really rotating Gary, east there, Gary. Gary, Go ahead, Val. Oh, uh, Gary, this is Penny. Hey, listen, the, the new Mesa cyclone hey, is developing south of I-40 now. There's a new Mesa cyclone with a, an amazing wall cloud now, south and east of the, of the circulation back by 270. Take my yeah, stream. 
It is. Yeah, you David, know? that's exactly right. That's the, that's the one I'm telling okay. you about, David. Here it's it's, it's going to produce a tornado. It, it's going to do it here in just a minute. Yeah, we it's see going it. to the ground we'll coming very down. fast, very fast turning. It's very, oh, my gosh, look at the speed. If you can take our stream, look at the look at the wall clock, Barry. It's just above the ground. It's a half mile to my south. I now have rotating, I now have rotating rain curtains around the wall cloud, right? Rotating rain curtains around the wall cloud. Tornado is imminent. Tornado is imminent. Big area to get to my location. Um, I'm, uh, area I'm Yeah, there's a funnel. There's a funnel. I'm at uh, yeah. Highway 270 and I-40. There it is. Just south to the southwest. Wow. There's a funnel in it right there. Uh, boy, oh, I wow. wish you guys could see this. This is just really impressive. Rotating rain, rain curtains. Rain curtains are just cranking. Um, this thing is really, really getting it back together. It could very well be on the ground. I'm, yeah, I, I, it, it's got to be on the ground, Gary. I'm seeing stuff getting pulled up. Um, there's a tree in my way. I can't see the actual field, but it's the way it's so close to the ground. If it's not on the ground, you can go ahead and call this tornado. Take the tornado precautions anywhere south of I-30, just west of Highway 270, and it's going to be rain wrapped, folks. Um, you're not going to see this coming. You're going to have to basically be in the bear's cage to see this coming. Gary, hey, Gary. David. Go ahead, David. Okay, Gary, you can take our stream. I'm a half mile north of the circulation. I can see completely through the circulation. Uh, you, you, you can almost say the tornado's on the ground because we have rapidly rotating rain curtains. Look at the stream here, Gary. Rotating around this, the, the wall cloud. The wall cloud's about three or 400 yards. Across, maybe a little wider. I have north winds now at 40 miles per hour, and this thing is turning like a top. I can see clear through the rain at this point, okay? I can see completely through it. And uh, again, I don't see the tornado. I don't see condensate on the ground. Hang on, whoa, 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 what's that? What's that? I don't look on the, look on the right side. Uh, again, it's, 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 everything's rotating around the wall cloud very, very quickly. You can see it in our stream here. Looking for a cone. Uh, blow the, Gary, blow the motion. Hang on, guys, look at the motion here. Look how fast it is. Look out. Gary, my wind is to increase from the north. Gary, right now, it's, it's stationary. This thing, this tornado, uh, basically, right now, is, is almost stationary. It's going to be a half mile to my south-southwest. Um, and, Gary, you can almost call it. You can almost say the tornado's on the ground now. I don't see condensate on the ground. The condensate's about 500, 600 feet. Hey, David, right there. Right there it is, David. You see it? It, it is just southwest of 270 and I-40. You see it, David? Right there in the little clear slot. Yeah, 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 I know. There it is, there it is. The rain curtains are actually wrapping all the way around it, all the way around. I know, I it, know. It's filling in, it's filling in. I'm just waiting to see some condensate. I don't see any, but, but Gary, we can call it on the ground. All right, the cone now is almost to the ground. The winds are picking up from the north now at 40 miles per hour. Right yeah. It, it, yeah, Gary, let's, let's just call it. Hey, Gary, 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 Gary. Hey, we have a tornado, Gary. This there is not is. the same tornado that David is talking about. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Going. I saw a tornado right there. Shot. We've got a left. tornado that's rapidly right formed. There. And, Gary, we are like three it. miles east of 270, and it's two miles south of I-40. Is that a tornado? Can anybody... Tornado There's on the Sky News 9, tornado. Let's go to Sky News 9. Sky News 9. Bob Sky News 9. Jim Gardner, go ahead. Yeah, I believe that's it, Gary. I believe right there. Well, it's kind of roping out, but it's still, it's, yeah, it's on the ground. I think it's one it's of them. It's on the ground. I can see it. Give us, uh, I see I you see are, it. it's, it's, uh, you're three miles west of Cedar Lake, four miles, and yeah, you're looking what direction? Northeast. Uh, DJ, just let me, I have to lighten it up a little bit. Turn my microphone on. It's right, it's right there, Gary. We it's right it? there. We're tracking it right now. It's on the ground. Okay, I'm trying to figure exactly where that is. I guess you're looking northeast, or are you looking uh, right. north? Well, right now I'm going to come up. I'm going to be coming up directly south of it. It's just a little northeast of me right now, but I'm going to be directly south of it here. Right now I'm coming down uh, 24, 420, 44th Street southwest, and Mayberry's going to be right up in front of me here. That's where I'm. That's where I'm sitting right now. Is a uh, 44th Street southwest. I'm heading eastbound. Mayberry's going to be right up in front of me. I'm coming up on He's top of them, but you're looking at that tornado right there, Gary. And it's, it's starting to dissipate a little bit, but it just keeps cycling here. Uh, yeah, I think it's producing a lot of different tornadoes, the way it looks to me. Valcaster, Storm X and 1 has it there. Uh, uh, there he is. You can see it partially. It's probably on the ground right at that place, too. But I think there's the circulation is so huge, it's most likely producing tornadoes at other locations. As you look at the video, I'll tell you, this tornado will continue, uh, warning will continue along Interstate 40 from west of El Reno to El Reno to Yukon and on to Bethany. 
and you guys at Cedar Lake. It looks like it's just a little north of you, and it may, right now, it looks like it's, uh, now these numbers, they run all the way up from Oklahoma City, and it's Northwest 10th out that way. For you guys that live out there will know that, but that's in Canadian County, and it's along Red, Cro Red Rock Road, and it's also very close to Calumet Road, and these are all about three to three miles south of Interstate 40, they're southwest of uh, the El Reno area. Bobby Payne's also out that way. Sky News 9 is right over Cedar Lake at this particular moment. <clears throat> Looking to the northeast, it's, it's a massive uh, high precipitation supercell. And that means there's it's a lot of rain with it. You can't see very much. And let's see, Val still have his tornado? Go ahead. Okay, Gary, I'm at 270 and I-40, 270 and I-40, one mile south. The tornado is going to be exactly two miles south of I-40 and 270. Large tornado. Uh, the wall cloud, everything's on the ground, Gary. Large tornado on the ground. No doubt about it. Large tornado on the ground. It's yeah, going to be it's one right. mile south of I-40. If you get two miles south, I can see it again. I'm back in it. It's a half mile to my south. So it's going to be two miles south of I-40. Two miles south of I-40 is where the tornado is, Gary. It's big. It's a big tornado, Gary. It's big. It's wide. And it's now taking on a wedge shape from the east back down to where the tornado is. And this thing is spinning. And I have a north wind at about 40 to 50 miles per hour. Again, Gary, tornado continues. It's, it's, it's on the ground. Look at look at all the... all the. I, I, I'm too far away. To, there's so much rain. It's too debris. But, Gary, the, the whole thing's on the ground. It's on the ground right now. And, again, it's going to be a mile and a half, nearly two miles south of I-40 at 270. It's exactly where I am. Very okay, all righty. Appreciate that report. Great stuff from you guys, keeping the people warm. In fact, we have two circulation tornado vortex signature now indicated uh, just moments ago, two to three miles south of I-40. That's right where our guys are looking to the south. Go ahead, Kelly. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you that Trying to stop traffic on I-40 west and eastbound out there on the uh, west side of El Reno. If you know anyone traveling out there, call on your cell phone. Tell them to shut it down wherever they are. If they're out in the El Reno area on I-40, shut it down. Call them and tell them. Tell them to, uh, to turn on the radio and listen to us. Gary? Okay, good. Bob Mills, Sky News 9, Jim Gardner. Jim, what do you make of that uh, feature right there? The tornadoes could be with that or right back behind it. What, what's your feeling? Right, I believe it's right going to be right back in there, Gary. That's where that's where we're looking. We just can't see it due to the heavy amount of rain that this thing is throwing out and a lot of a lot of hail in this too, Gary. But uh, I believe it's right in there. That whole thing is rotating. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's boy, just a massive, massive storm, Gary. There, there's just really not too much else I can say about it. We're just uh, kind of parallel in here, flying eastbound, uh, looking directly back north there, and it, it's just it, it's just very very. This thing is huge. Hey, Gary, it looks like there's some kind of a gas plant between me and the tornado. There's some kind of yes, a gas plant. Is, that's at Smith Road I have and, right here. And, I'm, and it's behind it. Huge it's wall cloud. Let me right. see a huge wall cloud. Look, Gary, it's, it's behind the Calumet plant. Road and Smith Road. That's at what he's the corner about. of Calumet Road and Smith Road. That's where that plant is, and it's fairly close to that. It's just south of a half mile, Gary. Tornado uh, is, is a half mile or less from that gas plant. You know, I, I think, but Gary, it's, it's a big, broad area. But it's moving very quickly, and I have different pockets of debris that you'll see get picked up off the ground. The whole thing is not on the ground right now, okay? I've got areas that it, it, it's a multiple vortex. I've got a vortice here, a vortice there, mm -hmm. south, southeast of the gas plant. No more. It is, it is turning like a top. Absolutely amazing, Gary. Amazing. Okay, you guys, it's going to be moving. These are north-south roads. It's going to be moving, moving over parts of uh, Courtney Road, Fort Reno Road, and uh, Childs Road. Those are all uh, southwest parts of El Reno. You can, it keeps touching the ground. It hasn't laid down a big tornado, but it keeps producing on, right, that, right there? that are touching the ground. The whole cloud base is almost on the ground. That whole thing is just circling like a top. Gary, hey, Gary. Right here in the middle. It, it's touching down again. There it is. It's there it is. Down there it is. There it is. Gary, right in the middle of my shot. Right there in the middle of my shot, Gary. Um, I'm at over city. city. Guys, one at a time, one at a time. Gary, yep. it is straight south of my position on Molar. It is straight south of me on I-40 and, and Highway 66, that El Reno loop. I'm looking straight south at it, and it's probably a mile to two miles south of I-40, still southwest of El Reno. I believe there it is. Look at it. Okay. It's a multiple Let's go to, go, go to David. David, go ahead. 
Gary, take a restraining multiple vortex tornado. What? Gary, look at the map. Tell me what little town is south of me. On my map, I don't see anything. There's a small water tower. It's over a city. I can't tell you what it is. It's a small water tower. Multiple vortex tornado on the ground now. Multiple, just like Hank said, he nailed it. It's right here. Multiple vortex tornado. One, two. Take our screen. Multiple. Yeah, multiple vortex tornado. Yeah, man, this thing. Can you, you want to set this thing for me? Yes. Okay, okay Gary, large tornado. Now going to a violent tornado. Violent uh, tornado now, Gary. Violent tornado. This thing is probably going to get larger and larger and larger. Huge rotation. It's opening up to the south. Moisture is going to flow more into this thing, and it's going to be very, very significant. Sky News 9, uh, I think you see Sky News 9, I think it's back to your northwest just a little bit if we're right there. Large tornado. So let's just continue the warning along Interstate 40. This is the El Reno area along Interstate 40. Uh, Smith Road, Jensen Road, Reuter Road, Reno Road, 15th Street Southwest. Some of the north-south roads are Red Rock Road, Calumet Road, Courtney Road, and let's lay Mike and let's also lay some other uh, streets on here. Okay. So all along from uh, Union City, Union City up to South El Reno, Union City up to South El Reno, take immediate tornado precautions, and that below ground is best, get flat, safe, cellar, basement. If you have a, uh, a, a safe room, that's great. Uh, if you have a large building close to you and you have time to go, the steel reinforced concrete such, get in that. If you get trapped in your house, you get in the, the closet or bathroom in the middle part of the house, and you get down and you take cover, you wear a helmet, you wear shadow resistant goggles, long sleeve shirts, long pants, and shoes. This, go ahead, go ahead, Val. Multiple tornado, if you got our stream, Gary, it's, it's a mile and a half uh, northeast of us right now. This thing is southwest of El Reno. Uh, it looks like to me it's moving. It's going to affect probably south of I-40, about three miles right now. Right in front of us, large, multiple, serious. This is a serious tornado. Hey, jam shot. Large, oh, multiple, serious. Both of them. We got two of them. We got it on, uh, guys. We got it on uh, Sky News 9, Bob Mills Sky News 9, huge tornado, multiple vortex. And also, we've got it on David Stream. Hank Scott. It. So, as we look at these videos, I'm going to tell you, we know the tornado's there. It's uh, long and south of Interstate 40. Looks like right now it is uh, going to be south of Elm Street. But uh, you guys, in, for sure, in South El Reno, take your immediate tornado precautions. And let's see. Down to, down to Union City. Take a tornado precaution in Union City. This thing continues. It's a huge tornado producing multiple vortex tornadoes. That means several tornadoes. And this thing is going to be an animal. You, you folks out in the path of this, you know, the El Reno area, the whole thing is wrapping up, guys. And I tell you, this is not good news. So about the southern half, south of Interstate 40 through Canadian County, on into Oklahoma County. And we're going to include, of course, Union City and Mustang. And let me move this here just a little bit. Mike, hit that right here. Let's move this back to the west a little bit, will you? Yes. Okay. So, we're watching a huge tornadic circulation. Uh, it's a powerful storm. It's the type of storm that will kill you. So, if you can get below ground, you probably need to be below ground with this storm. Not probably, you need to be below ground. And as you look at the various sources I'm going to show you, and I'll tell you, this thing, what we're saying is going to turn into a huge tornado. I just saw another shot from Val, a very large Here. tornado. Look at the thing you saw on David's right there. It's a huge have it tornado. Near Fort Reno Road. And okay. your Reuter. Fort Reno Road and Reuter Road? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, let me tell you guys. Look at the video. Uh, one at a time. Look Go ahead. Go ahead, Val. All right, Gary, I have. We are getting blasted here. Okay. We, we're getting uh, probably 80 miles. Go ahead, Hank. I mean, go to. Uh... <laughs> Who, who's on? Val. What, the whole circulation is about a mile and a half around, just right above the tornado. So and it's not really moving that much. It's not moving that much. It's on the field. It's in the field, right in front of all that. You guys, Dave and Val, you're not in a good position. You, uh, you guys listen to me. You're not in a good position. This thing is very, very close to you. You don't need to get that close. Uh, you're in the no, circ you're in the circulation. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's not moving, though. we can. This well, let me tell scary. you. You may think it's not moving, but it is moving. We can see it on radar. And okay, it's, it's it like the one we had the other day where it lo it's moving. Then it looks a little like it moves a little north and it moves a little bit back to the south and the west. Uh, but it's right along this particular road. Now you guys jump in if you have something important. We know there's a tornado. We got the location pretty well nailed down. So it's south of Interstate 40. It's south of Interstate 40. 
Uh, you guys all along Southwest uh, 27th Street, El Reno area, also Jensen Road. You go down here to Northwest 10th, West Reno, that's in Canadian County, this is out near El Reno. And it's uh, also along and north, just north, and uh, that one does not have a name. So any, if you live south of Interstate 40, uh, if you, if, goodness gracious, I mean, it's just absolutely unbelievable. The, the presentation on radar, it is becoming, it is becoming, well, it is rain wrapped, but it, the inflow into it is major. And this is a classic, huge cyclonic, cyclonic supercell and producing obviously a very large tornado and getting baseball size hail in El Reno. Baseball size hail. You folks in Oklahoma City, Yukon, uh, Union City, Mustang, such, what you really need to do is move your vehicle to a place of, uh, that's safe. Now, if you're in a tornado warning area, you need to move your tail over to a safe place and take your immediate tornado precautions. Go ahead, Val. Gary, this is David. Go ahead, David. Okay, again, uh, you can pick our stream here. We, we, we get way too close here. I'll be honest with you. We lost it in the rain. 100 yards from it, and it was absolutely insane. My okay. winds were over 100 miles an hour. Gary, tornado still on the ground in my southeast. You can with hail, baseball size hail in El Reno. Okay, appreciate that report. Uh, do me another projection on it, Mike, and back this up a little bit. We, we just do it east at 20. I think it has, it has slowed down as fast as it was. You agree with that? Gary? Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, right. Gary, can you hear me? Val, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to give you a location. One, two, three, four and a half miles straight south of I-40 on Reno, on. Uh, Reno on. Road, four and a half miles straight south of I-40, moving southeast. And it, it's still on the ground. It's a big, it, this is a humongous circulation, Gary. It's, it's really getting rapid rain right now. Okay. So let me yeah. tell you, yeah, in, the, in the El Reno area, it's, there's, of course, a huge hail, baseball size hail in El Reno. And that means there's going to be, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there's going to be baseball size hail. Other locations as it moves on to the east. Uh, as you guys look at the various pieces of video we have, uh, Sky News 9 looks like it still has the tornado. Uh, it's a huge rotation. I'm going to give you some names. So El Reno, South El Reno, continue with your tornado precautions down to Union City. It has City. turned right. It has turned right. Up to the Richland area, down to Yukon, so Bethany yeah. area. Can you look at that for just a second? Let's make yeah, sure on that. It, it, or you, you I'm watching the circulation. Okay. It is moving toward Mustang right now. Okay, it's turned a little to the south, a little more to the southeast. So we'll put a different uh, loop, a different uh, projection on this. But El Reno, continue the tornado precautions. Union City, continue the tornado precautions. Mustang, and let's go ahead and broaden this out. Mike. I'm going to, yeah. And so we will include South Yukon in this also. And we will include probably Bethany. Uh, mission Mustang over to Will Rogers World Airport. Take immediate tornado precautions. Below ground is best. Below ground is best. And uh, this is, uh, as you look at this, this is a classic, uh, classic indication of a major tornado. It's already uh, been on the ground several times. Probably still on the ground at this particular time. Going to be just southwest of the Walmart in El Reno. I am at uh, I-30 and exit 123, where the Walmart is in El Reno. Southwest. Just southwest, a few miles, two or three miles of the Walmart in El Reno is uh, where the, the best circulation is. There's baseball size hail just back to my north. So, uh, folks, if you're not in the path of the tornado, be prepared to get really big hail. Uh, it's getting ready. What, what road is this? Tell me what road this is. This, uh, Whatever road Walmart is, have, is on Country Club Road. I'm sorry. That's right good. South on Country Club Road is where this is. Mike, can you Walmart. still do some of these? It's, okay. it's going to be probably pretty close to the airport again. It's passing right along 15th Street, Southwest 15th Street, and Reno. Once again, this is in Canadian County, but they run from Oklahoma County out into Canadian County. This thing is going to blow away anything it hits, so you need to be below ground level. This is nothing you mess with. It is a major, major tornadic circulation. It has already produced several tornadoes, multiple vortex, and it has all the classic indications of it most likely will be longer. And I tell you, the, the conditions are more favorable the more it goes to the east. So, Hank gave great information there. It was just southwest of the Walmart and the El Reno area. And Hank, if you're still on there, can you give me any? I'm at the Reno Cinema, which is a movie theater south of El Reno on Country Club Road. And I'm looking to the southwest. I can't tell if there's a tornado or not. What I can tell you is the whole sky is sitting on the ground and it is just churning. Um, I, if there's a tornado in the rain, I can't see it. I can see 
Will, Will, Lars, Roche, Rock. Well, yeah, there's another puddle there. It's probably going to be a mile southwest of uh, this movie theater here on Country Club Road. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, then it's going to be really close to the El Reno Airport, Gary. The same uh, airport that got hit uh, a few years ago. Uh, man, the sky is just really cranky. I can see another funnel forming now, Gary. Um, boy, there it is. Multiple the vortices again. Understand. There it is. It's on the ground again. Multiple vortices. I can see, I can see three funnels right now. See it open there? There you go. There's three vortices right now just southwest of Country Club Road, and I'm south of I-40 on Country Club Road. What, what is that? Is that Reno? Okay, we can see on uh, Storm Shield. The big hook echo is moving. The circulation is right along 10th Street. Let me hear south of 10th Street. It's along Reno Street. It's along 15th Street. Oh, it is also extending south to 29th the Street. The, whole, the rain curtains are really, really rotating now. You can see it's got to be a multiple vortices, big rain rat okay. tornado. It, I can see funnels outside of the rain. I can see funnels inside the rain that are all wrapping back no. up into each other. I'm going to say yes. probably... If you're on Highway 81 uh, south out of El Reno, get off of that thing. We understand it's bumper to bumper. If you are around Reno Street on 81 south of El Reno, turn around and go north. Sky News 9 shows that traffic right there, by the way. He's right over top of 81. Well, there's a large tornado moving toward uh, Highway 81. It's, it's wrapped up in rain at times. This is a major, major circulation. It is a life-threatening situation, and it is right. The, the, the center of the circulation is right at South Reformatory Road and right at, that one doesn't have a name, 10th Street. This is 10th Street that comes out of Oklahoma County, and this rotation, this circulation goes up over El Reno, uh, part, a good part of southern El Reno. And if you look at more right there, you can sit right there, that little dot, that's, that's the center of the tornado. But this whole thing is a tornadic circulation. Here's the air moving into it. And I don't like the uh, position Sky News 9 is in. They're out in front of it. I'd rather have you in a different position. But uh, it's, uh, it's a ha the tornado is a half mile east of the airport. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, the, the velocities are absolutely astonishing in this. So they're going to move along Reno Street, 15th Street, 29th Street, 44th Street. And these are streets that run out of Oklahoma County. And uh, if we, if you'll, also on the right-hand side, if you guys want to pop up uh, the projection. That's unbelievable. That's on Pathfinder. Pathfinder, Pathfinder, there you go. And there's a projection on it. You guys in Union City should be in this also. I am going to enlarge this, so we're going to make sure that we take care of uh, the area there. There we go. Union City. It's in El Reno now, South El Reno, along Interstate 40. Let me tell you, along Interstate 40 from El Reno to Yukon, you better get off that thing. I know there's huge hail, but I would go north, even though there's huge hail. This thing is south of Interstate 40. It is a classic, classic tornadic circulation that is, is usually life-threatening if you're caught out in it. Cars are not good at all to be in it. East, southeast, it looks like. We'll call it uh, 25 miles an hour. Okay. Hey, Hold on a second. Go ahead. Gary, this is Harry. One at a time. One at a time. Go ahead. Go ahead, Hank. Uh, it's really picked up speed. Uh, I'm on I-40 busting east, and this thing has really, really jumped east quite a bit. I left it at Country Club Road and started busting east, and I'm doing highway speed, and it's keeping up with me, moving to the east. So this is going uh, to be very near Yukon and very near... Okay, and, and let's go to David. David, what do you have? Come on, and you're in Mustang. Take your David, go ahead. Okay, uh, Gary, I'm just uh, just west of 281. Gary, I, I, you have to assume it's on the ground, Gary. The, the motion, I'm still a couple of miles to the south-southwest of it. The motion is so violent. It's so violent from left to right that I see, I see, I see, what, what is the tornado? It's, it's on the ground. It's all the way with the rain curtains and everything. It's, it's moving too fast not to be on the ground. It, it, it's got to be just a large, large tornado now. And it's going to be north or east to be just a couple of miles here. I'm trying to get back in position. But Gary, the, the motion of the, of, of the tornado is so big, it's so long that it doesn't even look like a tornado. You know what I mean? It's just completely, completely wrapped up. Gary, back to you. Okay, we're going north now, north of Oklahoma City. As we look at all these things, this tornado warning continues for Canadian County, down to Mustang, Will Rogers, Bethany, possibly OCU, downtown Oklahoma City, Dell City, Moore, 
So keep in mind that storm moving east southeast 20 miles per hour. Tornado warning now for northwestern Payne County. This would be uh, to the west of Stillwater if it's northwestern Payne County, but that's pretty close to Stillwater. Southern Noble County, north central Logan County. And Mike, you've got it there on Storm Shield. Yes. That's this particular storm right here near yeah. Mulhall. Yeah, giving that, uh, it'd be, uh, yeah, it's going to affect Mulhall, Orlando. There's the tornado warning right here. Okay. So it's going to, so the center of it's going to pass very close to Mulhall. Gary, it's going to travel. Uh, you don't, you don't want to be on 51. That's okay. for sure. Sail 51. And that could approach Stillwater within, it looks like about an it's hour. It's crossing Highway 81 right now. It's off the charts. 81 and Jensen, Highway Patrol, 81 and Jensen. 81 and Jensen. Caddy, did they give you a, a speed, a direction of movement? Mm -hmm. No, they didn't, Gary. They said it was uh, east, southeast is the direction okay, they thought Gary. they was moving. Okay, who do I have there? Okay, Gary, we have the tornado. Looks like it's on the ground, and it is uh, just near or just east of Highway 81, south of El Reno. And let me tell you what, it is strong, strong rotation. Uh, this whole wall cloud is just a massive rotation. Thank you, uh, it, it was actually seven This is a risk, obviously, to property. This is also a risk uh, to life. It is moving uh, right now. Uh, I-40 drops a little south there, so the, we can see the debris ball with it. We can see the eye of the, the tornado, and it is uh, very close to 10th Street. The center of it's between two, and it's, uh, it's, uh, the, the debris ball appears to be over a mile wide and is uh, 10th Street and it is Jensen Road. So it's between 10th Street and Jensen Road and the it's move, getting ready to move right over South Radio it's, Road. It's going to move it's over back due east again. East I'm Jensen sorry to, Road. I'm Pardon? sorry to interrupt, but it's moving due east now. That's what I thought. It looked like me was, I, it had the southeast on that. It took a wobble to the yeah. southeast. Now it's moving due east. Okay, again. it's moving due east. So. If you live uh, along uh, Interstate 40 or you live north, a mile, let's say two miles north of Interstate 40 in eastern Canadian County, oh, take your tornado precautions. This thing is absolutely horrendous and is a threat to your life. If you possibly can, get below ground level. Get below ground. Go ahead. I'm hearing two OHP troopers out there who got too close to this thing. One has broken windows in his unit. They're trying to get south out of this thing. They're at 29th all the way down to 44th Street. It is still hitting them there. So they're at Jensen and 29th, uh, okay, I guess they're not too far from coming up on, uh, uh, you mentioned Radio Road. They're at 29th and 44th trying to dive, drive south of this, and uh, their cars are damaged now. It's a bad situation out there. Yeah, it's a major circulation. Now, you know what it's doing right there, the center of that, the center of the circulation, the tornado went back up into the precipitation, and it's almost stopped. It, go ahead. Tornado. Go ahead. Satellite tornado. Okay, let me. I'm a. I'm. A, hey, if you can see my GPS, we have a satellite tornado that just came on the south side of the major tornado. Gary, take my stream here. You can take my stream. Look at look at this tornado, Gary. It's a mile wide. It's it's maybe more That's than a mile shot. wide. Gary. Thanks for out. Keep Gary, talking to us, David. Keep talking, David. Okay, Gary, you can take our stream. It's a David, mile David, wide we don't. You, we can't see your stream, so we're gonna take that. It's west of. That takes about storm Gary, action one. Yeah, okay, Gary. Uh, go, go ahead, Val. Right, this thing is a mile wide, Gary. I'm. It, I can it, see it's it. not a mile wide. It is very close to it. Uh, we are two miles north of Union City, looking due north at this tornado, Gary. It's about probably two miles no north kidding. of this, maybe two to three miles straight north of us. This thing is moving. It looks like due east. Um, I'm starting to see right some right neighborhoods right on the south side of El Reno right that might be in the path right of this thing. And this is this is a long Garth Brooks Boulevard and I-240 in that area. I-40 in that area. So all along Interstate 40, uh, it, 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 this thing is a lot like the one we had the other day where it, it would look like it was stopped and it would kind of wrap up on itself. And uh, just moments ago, the debris ball was about a mile across. And we can see Val's shot. If you, if you, I can tell you, we're looking at it. Take Val's shot. Storm Action 1, Val has a huge tornado. Yeah, but I, guys, I'm going to keep talking about this location. Oh, you can see it on Sky Th through, through Yukon. You can see it on Sky I can't. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, location. Okay, location. So, Highway, uh, highway 66. So, I think if you, boy, let me tell you what. I would, if some south of Elm Street, this is in El Rio, south of Elm Street, south of Elm Street, and then it is past 81. But boy, it's just about a mile and a half east. That looks like it is on South Radio 
Road, South Radio Road, right on Jensen Road. It's, it certainly is. Kelly, you name it, go ahead. These troopers are, are now they're trying to head north, and one of them was near I-40 and Banner Road, and he said he was still in circulation. Oh, he definitely at is. At I-40 and Banner Road, and they're still trying to get out of this thing. Uh, he's, he's the tornado's on top of him. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. This is a gigantic tornado. Who shot is that? Who shot? I just saw. Who's on the left side? Oh, no, you, power, you can't drive with power. Hank, is that your shot? Is that Hank's shot? Yes. Hank, uh, it looks like you have a huge tornado. Oh, my gosh. Uh, by the, near the uh, Clarence Page Airport, I'm sorry, Cimarron Road, and this is a monster mile-wide tornado that's going to go very, very close to CE Page Airport. Um, I just dropped south of the, the airport a little bit, get a better vantage point, and... Man, okay, thing, come on, we have... Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to talk to the folks. Uh, this is a tornado emergency, of course, from the parts of the El Reno area on into Yukon, Banner. Uh, right now, it's moving almost due east. So I, I just I see all those apartment complexes and such in Yukon area. Uh, you need to get below ground if you possibly can. Uh, there, you know, if it's on top of you, you can't outrun it. I mean, if it's on top of you, very close to you, don't try it. It's a massive, massive circulation. Uh, the wind speeds on Doppler radar continue to be something like I really have never seen before. So this is a tremendously strong storm. It is a life-threatening storm. Just take your thing I-40, a half mile west of Banner. They are. That's what they're saying. Yes. It did live back to the north. Of it the is the northeast. Yeah, it is. This is wild. It, it, it will move southeast. Now it's moving northeast. It just crossed I-40 near Banner Road. That's moving a little bit to the northeast, so it's oscillating along, kind of like a hurricane does, along the center line. And in a few minutes, it may drop back to the south, so really the circulation is almost as far north as Wilshire Road. That's the road that comes out of Oklahoma County. So right now, it's south of Wilshire Road, and it looks like it's along or just east of Radio Road. Gary, I'm going to widen this fan I, until we can figure out exactly which way it this is going to go. It's wobbling. It's wobbling. It's, it's, it's a slow mover, uh, and it is. I am at uh, Sunny. Where am I at? Yeah, I can't Gary, stop you go radio. ahead. Gary, this is David. Again, the tornado is on the ground. Oh, okay. It's right on I-40. Uh, just south of I-40, still a mile wide. I'm on the south side. Gary, I've seen one hit. I've seen one house with heavy damage to a barn. I've seen some damage paralyzed down. But again, look at northbound. The tornado is at least a mile wide. Mile wide tornado. Okay. All righty. Appreciate these reports. It's a gigantic tornado, at least a mile wide. Let me talk to you and your kids are home alone. You know, get in the center. If you have a cellar or a safe room, that's where you go. If not, you get in a bathroom or a closet in the middle part of your house. Put a helmet on, football helmet, anything. Put a football helmet on. Long sleeve shirts. Make sure you have long pants on. Make sure you have shoes on. Wrap up in blankets and get in the bathtub or stick yourself between the wall and the stool, whatever. So, you know, this will eventually pass, but this is a very dangerous storm. We see a large debris ball right now, right along Interstate 40. So it is smashing businesses and houses. That's what we see in the air at this particular time. So it continues to be a tornado emergency from east, east sections of El Reno, all the way over to Banner, then to Yukon. And this thing is a threat to life and property. Go ahead. Gary, uh, Cimarron Road, about Reno, um, it, it's getting ready to go just to my northwest. I can see that birds are debris. I, I, anyway, I've got a real rapid wall crowd that's rotating, and it looks like that this thing is still dancing in and out of the rain, being multiple vortices. I'm on Cimarron Road, just south of Reno, looking to my due northwest, probably less than a mile. So... Uh, and if, and if the were reporting storm it on I-40, that means this Okay, Storm Shield, for just a moment, uh, looks like we have an imminent tornado approaching I-35 and Highway 51. You guys in Stillwater need to take your tornado precautions immediately. That storm will be moving your direction. All right, back on Pathfinder, we can see, if you look at the left end of that projection there on the, the yellow box, so to speak, near Banner, that's a debris ball right there along Interstate 40. And uh, the hook keeps wrapping up. It's 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 just it's titanic in size. The wind speeds continue to be extreme. Yeah, phenomenal. We it's... we see things on Doppler radar shows the velocity like that. We've never really seen anything like this strong. I'm sure it may have happened sometime. But once again, as you look at that, I can tell you folks, from East El Reno, over to Yukon, and right now as far south as Evans Road. Again, Val, we have a lot of noise in here. What what do you report? 
Okay, we are on uh, Southwest 29th Street right now looking north, and a new wall cloud is forming. As a matter of fact, as I roll down my window and look at this thing, it is wrapping up hard again uh, just about a mile north of my location. I'm on, on Southwest 29th Street. Hey, it's uh, a funnel, uh, valve. Uh, I'm at 29th and Richland looking back to the west. The new circulation is producing a funnel right yeah. now. New tornado uh, developing, new mesocyclone developing. So once again, uh, Val, give me your location, what direction you're looking, approximate location okay. of the uh, funnel and the mesocyclone. Okay, Gary, I am at Cimarron Road and Southwest 29th Street. Due north of me, about probably a mile to a mile and a half. Okay, it's on the ground, Gary. It's on the ground. Uh, Cimarron Road and what do you say? Touchdown again. Hmm? About be 23rd and Cimarron Road. 23rd and Cimarron Road. Mike Armstrong nailing Southwest it there. 29th. Southwest 29th. Southwest 29th and Cimarron Road. It's, a, it's a, probably about a mile and a half straight north of me. Just touched down a new circular. So that new touchdown on new tornado southwest 29th and uh, right. Cimarron Road. And right. that uh, the, the, the movement will either be to a little northeast or east or a little southeast. It's been varying somewhat. Most likely this one will grow into another large tornado. So what we've had is that one that produces, still has very strong winds, but a new one developing at a different location. So once again, the town yeah, of new Yukon. New inflow developing here. Yeah, the inflows. So we're going to get another big one right here over Yukon. So let me tell you, from, uh, from Yukon. Yeah, you, let me tell you, 50th Street, as, as it goes, it's not Oklahoma, Oklahoma County yet, 50th Street as it goes into Canadian County. So 50th Street, 36th Street, 23rd Street, 10th, Reno, 15th, Southwest 29th, Southwest 44th, and Southwest 59th, and Southwest 74th, stay alert. Right now, at least the last, uh, about three minutes ago, it was right right in that location okay. there. And, uh, hey, Jerry, Jerry. Winds are... Go ahead. Jerry, this is Val. We're on Southwest 29th Street right now, and we are a half a mile east of Cimarron Road. We're looking due north, and this thing, we got a debris cloud, a, a, a forming, a tornado reforming in this area here. It's it's on the ground. We got debris with it. It looks like to me, I'm going to estimate a mile and a half straight north. Uh, might be off by a half a mile there. It could be anywhere from Reno Avenue, maybe a half a mile south of there. But, uh, boy, I tell you what, it is wrapping up here again. It's amazing how fast this happened, Gary. Okay. Uh, anytime you have anything there, jump back in. I want to pass along some other information unless you have something uh, to jump out here and show us. But let me move on over here and look at this. So it's just north of Val. I see Val and southwest of Val and Hank and David. They're, they're, well, at least ha Hank and Val are in southwest 29th. David appears to be on southwest 15th and looking to the north. So you guys uh, from Yukon all the way down uh, past those particular streets. This is redeveloping back here. Okay. There's not a tornado okay. yet. It's redeveloping. Okay. Back, back west of El Reno, another uh, well, got cyclonic development, uh, at least a minimal one developing west of El Reno. So you guys in El Reno could have no, more problems with this. So what we need to do is get Mike, yeah, put, a, project, put a projection on this here, too, that new storm. And that's going to be... Right along, right along 15th Street, a little north there, up to about three inches. Right along. Get them on. Another photo for me. We've got debris falling on us from the large tornado that's sucking back toward this smaller funnel that's uh, just our Boy, look at it cranking up. It's really cranking up back here as well. So we, we you guys, you guys, as you as you talk, you need to give us your location each time, what direction you're looking, what you think I'm you see in this location. In uh, Tom and Rob, got a, is that a tornado? Tom and Rob have. Go ahead. We have extreme inflow Gary, developing I'm back over the old Reno area. So there's going to be get, get the get the. Uh, Still water storm. Okay, let's do that. Storm shield. Here's uh, what we're looking at. Tornado warning continues for northwestern Payne, extreme south central Noble, and north central Logan counties. We have the possibility of a tornado right near Lake Carl Blackwell. It is moving east at 35 miles per hour. You do not want to be on Highway 51. We had 80 mile per hour winds reported at 636 at I-35 and Highway 51. You guys in Stillwater, take your immediate tornado precautions. All right, uh, back home, uh, just to our southwest here. Major circulation continues. There's, there's still a circulation. It's weakened some, but it's uh, in the, the, the Yukon area and to the south. And this whole storm is moving on up to parts of uh, southwest Oklahoma County. And there's got to be a lot of rain and hail. And there's, uh, there's, I see a lot of heavy rain and such going on to the north. Would you pop me in the regular uh, radar here? Yeah, right there. Gary also want to tell you they are 
Brian, to get people off of I-40. They're telling people to exit I-40 in Oklahoma City, especially the west side now, and take shelter if they have to. But get off of I-40, folks, if you're on the west side of Oklahoma City. Okay, thanks, Kelly. Uh, this circulation is uh, still out there, a little south of the Yukon area. And we have Hank and Val and Bobby and David all in that particular location. Let's go to Moore, please. Hey, Gary, this is Val. Go to Moore. Uh, we are at Southwest 44th and Frisco Road, and we have debris falling out of the sky at this location. Everything is trying to wrap up uh, just to our north. But what I want to tell you, Gary, is this is a massive, broad circulation, and we're getting funnels formed all over the place out here. So, uh, you know, anywhere within a probably a four-mile di radius or diameter here of this, uh, it's just you know, is major, uh, because we're just getting funnels spinning up all over the place. Uh, but the main circulation appears to be just north right now, and we're getting all kinds of debris falling out of the sky, you know, blowing up from the other tornado that was earlier. Gary, back to you. Okay. And we're watching a, a huge thunderstorm uh, in a good part of Oklahoma. This thing is spinning like a top. I'm looking for any debris right now. Again, I know I'm well southeast of the, of the main circulation that's right behind me, but uh, there is uh, rotation here, Gary. At I-40 and Kilpatrick, I-40 and Kilpatrick Junction, just south yeah. of I-40, turning, turning uh, quickly, but did no tornado on the ground. I have uh, uh, rotating rain curtains at this point, rotating rain curtains, but no tornado. Gary, West, back to sir. you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that very much. Quick check on Tarakam, and we'll go to Kelly at the same time. Highway patrolman says there's a tornado Tarakam. south of the El Reno Airport. The patrolman is taking cover right now, south of the El Reno Airport. Okay. That's what the West Storm. Okay. Is. I'm sorry. What is that? Uh, it may, might be integrous. It's on channel four. Let's take a look at that shot. There it is. We're looking to the west. And Kelly, I flat missed what you were saying. Go ahead. Tornado on the ground south of the El Reno Airport. Highway patrolman there has eyeballed it and is taking cover. Okay. So south of El Reno, we see a hook echo down near the uh, El Reno Airport. So still El Reno, south of El Reno, south of Interstate 40, along Interstate 40, uh, Yukon area, down toward Mustang. You guys, Union City, uh, stay alert. Bethany also. War Acres, this thing is, is a gigantic circulation that's reorganizing, so we're probably in for another organizational move here, and it will probably produce another large tornado. We've had another tornado reported back south of El Reno. Kelly, was that close to the uh, El Reno Airport? Yes, it was. They said about yeah. a half mile south right, of the yeah. El Reno Airport. Oh, yep, here it is. Yeah, we can see it right there. It's, it's intensifying. And, uh, yeah, there's the streets. So along uh, 40, Southwest 44th, these will be in Kingfisher, uh, Kingfisher. These will Canadian. be in Canadian County, uh, Southwest 44th, 29th Street, 15th Street, and Reno Avenue, back to the west there. So David. go ahead, David. So David, what do you got? Oh, hey, okay, Gary, I get, I get, Gary, here's what's happened. The, 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 the circulation that was south of the highway, it's actually reformed down north of I-40. I'm a half mile west of Morgan Road. And I-40, half mile west of Morgan Road, sitting on I-40 here, and the wall cloud is getting better organized, Gary. Everything is ripping into this area. It's a very low wall cloud. It's just about a quarter of a mile north of I-40. There's some gas plant right here, just west of uh, I-40. Everybody knows where that is. And again, uh, it, it, Gary, everything is going into this one area now. Again, um, I'm just going to be uh, just west, just west of uh, Morgan Road, about a half mile. Boy, the lifting and turning, Gary getting faster and faster. Everything's flowing into this one spot right now. Looks like it's going to try to produce another tornado again, uh, just west of Morgan Road and just barely, barely, barely north of I-40. Gary, back to okay, you. Okay, David, just keep talking to us, and I'm zeroing you in on Moar, and I've got you, of course, right there on uh, I-40 and North South Road uh, as we get, it comes to be over Holster Drive. And right. uh, the east-west street just to your south of southwest 15th and that'll help locate people and you let's take your shot put your shot on there and we'll bounce back and forth and i'll give some locations as you give a, a description of what's going on okay well again the, the circulation is just to my north and my winds now went from a north wind to a southeast wind and now they're starting to blow back into the same circulation center now is going to be just north of i-40 there's this gas plant that's just east of the kilpatrick uh, turnpike and just north of 40 that some kind of a big plan in there with smokestacks on it. That's where the circulation is right now. And everything is focusing. Everything is focusing right back in there. And boy, this wall cloud is mean. It is low again. And uh, the motion just is, right now, it's just getting a little bit faster. I don't see any power flashes. I don't see the tornado on the ground. But I, my wind now has come completely around from a north wind back to a south wind. 
and the circulation now is going to be just north of uh, just north of I forty. So again, and, that's uh, west uh, of Morgan uh, Road. Um, David, we have a TVS indicated, and it's just uh, one mile south of Reno, and it's right along the north. 15. Is that north? What's the north side? Morgan Road. Yes. And the next street over from Morgan Road, of course, is uh, going to be, I believe, County Line Road. Yes. So we have a tornado indicated.